Today is your introduction to one of West Africa's most exquisite delicacies. We're making okra soup, surf and turf style. Yes, the ocean is going to meet the land. The more assorted your proteins are, the tastier this dish is. The star that brings this entire shindig together is our beautiful and fresh okra, also known as ladyfingers. In making a soup like this, you want to select the turf part of your proteins. Those take a little longer to cook because we want to take our time, season it well, cook it low and slow until we reach that perfect tenderness. So we started with some cow foot as well as some goat meat, cured lamb, you know I love my tolo beef. Seasoning our proteins at this stage is of utmost importance. So we went in with all the salt we're going to use to season our soup, followed by some crushed black pepper. Then we also hit it with some Cameroon pepper. Then we brought in the bondes, you know, the bonde aromatics. They stink, but they smell good in the soup. Yes, dawa dawa is where we started with that. Now dawa dawa is also known as locust bean. Next, you must keep in mind that every soup requires a deepened, flavorful base. So that's where we decided to bring in our tomato-based stew, which we recently shared, packed with several ingredients. Added our chopped onions, followed by a green seasoning mix, which is a combination of chilies, parsley, garlic, ginger, fennel seeds, very aromatic quality. So that is going to take the, the flavors and the aroma to the next level. Of course, we added some more ginger and garlic. Because a soup like this, you cannot give it enough ginger and garlic. So we went in with some more minced ginger and garlic, followed by some water, because these meats need the moisture to tenderize. We also went in, finally, with some all-purpose seasoning, which you can substitute with your bouillon of choice. We started cooking on medium-high heat for about 15 minutes. Then we took the lid off, stirred it around to get everything well combined. After stirring it together, we have the base of the soup now. Well developed, ready to go. So then we went in with some water to create that broth around the soup. Then we turned the heat down to medium, cracked the lid a little bit open, so now it can cook and let the, some of the steam also escape. While the turf part of our soup is tenderizing, the surf part is like, I need attention too. So a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Now this is gonna go into the oven. So I put a little bit of oil on so that it doesn't stick and also it makes the Old Bay seasoning spreadable. Then set it in the oven on the top rack and bake at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. This will help this very delicate fish to firm up and not fall apart in the soup. Season the rest of your surf, the shrimp and the crabs also with some more Old Bay seasoning. We're also gonna go in with some of our green seasoning. And these will go in last because they are very delicate. But while they sit and wait to go in, they could be marinating. All right, this is great. Let's set this aside. It's coming very well together, y'all. Yes, we have reached the final stage of prepping our lady fingers or okra. I'm going to blend some and leave some almost whole. Yes, for texture. So what I do is I take the lid right off or the head, right off like that. And that we discard. Then I cut them into big chunks for the blender. While you're cutting, you want to be looking out for those that are overly mature by trying to break the tip the tail off. If it breaks off easily, then they are good to go. If it doesn't, more than likely it has too many strands in them because it's overgrown. You want to discard those. Mm -hmm. 
At this stage of cooking, which is where we are prepping the lady fingers or the okra, you must think of bringing that draw. We all love in our okra soups. We also must think of bringing more fragrance, so I added some ginger. Now, onions will bring fragrance, will bring a little more taste to the okra, but will also help to develop the draw and the slime. Then add some water so you can blend it up into a between smooth and coarse texture. For the best results, you want to cook the okra separately. Just bring it to a boil. At that stage too, you can add your bicarbonate of soda or your kanwe or kanwa to develop the draw even more. Today, I am not going to use that because I use some onions to blend the okra, so we will be getting that draw. I guarantee it. And see now, the blended okra has some texture, but it's nearer to the smoother texture so we're going to bring more texture by cutting up some more okra into big chunks mm, this looks so good and let me tell you the final product had an incredible texture to it it was great for presentation and it also made sense in that it was pleasing to feel all those textures in your mouth beautiful the soup base is ready i have tasted it and it is perfectly seasoned and the meats also are perfectly tender not too tender to where they're melting in your mouth they have a little bite or chew to it and that is the texture we're going for and the okra needs attention too friends you want to go in and start staring and while you are staring, you can add some more aromatics. This is the green seasoning. Uh, this soup is going to be so tasty. It is also going to smell so good and inviting. Friends, I cannot wait to dig in. All right, so we have about 10 more minutes on the okra. And while that's going, let's check on our meat. We want to see if it's tender enough. It has been cooking for the past 45 minutes, almost 50 minutes. Oh yeah. And we have reached our preferred tenderness. Now we're going to add the crabs. Now remember, these crabs have been marinating all along. So they are flavorful already. But we want that exchange of flavors, so it's time for them to join the pot. The last protein that will go in is the most delicate of all, which is the shrimps. They'll continue to marinate at room temperature. And there we have it. Let's stir that in. Mm, it smells incredibly delicious. I cannot wait for this to be done cooking, friends. Oh my goodness. Good food, mm, comfort food. Ultimate comfort food. Now look at these. I mean, just tell me this is not gonna be tasty. Oh my goodness, you know you can't. It's gonna be so good. All right, so I've also tasted. The seasoning is on point. Let's throw the lid back on. Back to our okra. We're getting that beautiful draw we love in our soups, our okra soups. Perfect. We're just going to bring it back to a boil and then we'll turn the heat off. The one thing you don't want to do is overcook okra, okay? You want a little bit of crunch in okra. Definitely the draw. And the onion in there is what's giving it this draw. So you don't even need bicarbonate of soda. You don't need your kanwa or kanwe. This is it. Or salt pita, they call it sometimes. Yeah. We're getting that draw. And the more you beat it too, the more you develop the beautiful draw. All right, I'm going to let this continue to boil for the next three minutes or so. Now this has the tendency, the okra has a tendency to boil over. To prevent that from happening, leave your wooden spatula or wooden spoon right across it like that and it will prevent it from boiling over. Yes. Now that's a pro tip our mothers and grandmothers passed on to us. Now for the palm oil, I'm going to add my mawane 
another bonde aromatic ingredient <laughs> right at this point yes i'm going to just melt it and also infuse the oil with the momone flavor momone is very similar to your fish sauce or shrimp paste so if you don't have access to momone you may use those ingredients as a substitute i have shared the recipe for making momone very good momone on this channel also next ingredients our shrimp which has also been marinating all along we're going to just put them into the pot and then we're going to stir them in and add the okra Now, we're making soup, right? So if you feel the texture at this point or the consistency rather, not the texture, is too thick, you are very welcome to add some broth or some water to thin it up. And the okra is literally cooked. And the textures in there from the okra we cut into big chunks is just beautiful. Now, at this point, you can have this soup with your banku, your eba, or whatever starch. You choose to have it with just as it is, friends. You don't even need the palm oil. You don't at all. This is beautiful. But we're gonna add palm oil. Infused with the momone flavor. More bonde umami aromatic. <laughs> it smells like a real Ghanaian kitchen. Like, yeah, like my mom's. <laughs> all right, so we have melted it. The momone is cooked because it's disintegrated. Pour it into the soup. And then take a good look at it because what you're looking at is a quintessential Ghanaian pot of comfort. The very famous West African soup, Ghanaian okra soup to be specific. The fish has now firmed up in the oven. It is the last delicate that gets added and see, it is very firm. You can stir this soup as vigorously as you want and the fish will still stay together and not fall apart that was the whole idea add some more chilies it is optional but i love it in there because it is a garnish and at the same time it is a way to burst one into your soup if you want more heat and more chili fragrance we're serving today with green bangkun and i have shared this recipe as well before it is a healthier bangkun tasty as well look at this soup to the rest of the world, I am introducing the pot of soup who sparked the idea of gumbo, a North American dish. It is a derivative of this West African delicacy. So we're enjoying it, like I said, today with our green bangkun, which was made with oatmeal, spinach, and broccoli. The table is set. We are ready to dig in. I think okra soup is for a variety of occasions. Good, bad, indifferent, just name it. Simple in Tietia. And your sister, Madame, loves her good food. I hope you try this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.